Welcome back friends, myself Nidhi. Today I come up with another beautiful bridal blouse back neck pattern. So let's begin. Shoulder is 13, half of 13 is 6.5 so we'll do the marking on 6.5 inches for the shoulder. Arm hole is 6.5 inches. Now we'll do the marking for the chest. Chest is 40. 40 divided by 4 we get 10. We add 2 more inches for the seaming allowances. So we'll do the marking on 12 inches. The total length of the blouse is 14 inches. We add 1 inch extra for the seaming allowances. So the total length we'll take is 15 inches. For the waist, take same as chest that is 12, just do minus 1 inch on that because we'll also have to give darts. And join this point with the chest line. Then take 1.3 inch and mark shape for the armhole. Neck width is 3 inches and the length of the neck I am taking is 10 inches. Now from here touching this length line gave a slightly curved shape. Also leaving around 2.5 inch space, draw a similar shape and make this small curve shapes under this line. We draw this above line just to maintain a equal distance. Now we'll do the cutting. Separate this part as well. This center part will make with different color fabric. Now place this paper cutting on the lining and do the marking. Leave half inch space over here for the seaming allowances. Leave half inch space over here as well for the seaming allowances. And then we'll cut it. Thank you. 
Place this lining over the main fabric right on right and cut it accordingly. Then secure it with the pins. Now sew it from the three sides. Also take out the pins. Then we'll cut the extra fabric. and give small slits. Now turn it. Set it properly and do the top stitch. Similarly, prepare the other parts as well.
Then take a fusion paper, fold it and place this paper cutting over it and do the marking. Also leave half inch space to this side for the seaming allowances. Now we'll do the cutting. Then take this fabric. We need two layers of this. And place this fusion paper cutting over the fabric and cut it accordingly. Now paste this fusion paper with the help of iron. Then place this both the fabric right and right. And sew this from the three sides. Then trim the extra fabric. Leave little bit extra fabric over here for finishing. And turn it. Now do the top stitch. And also fold this extra fabric as well like this. It will look like this. Now I'm going to make a plain lace. For this take a bias strap of around 2 inches wide. Fold it like this and sew it. Trim this extra fabric. Then hand sew one end of this with the help of thread and needle. Now pull inside out. And iron it to set it properly. Now take this square piece of 2 by 2. And fold it like this to make this triangle shape. Also called as temple design. And sew this one by one.
Now place this paper cutting over it and do the marking. Then we'll place this part over this mark line like this and secure it with the pins. Also place the triangle design in between these curves like this and pin it. Now we'll sew this. Also place this plain lace over here, pin it and sew this as well. Now we add this golden lace in these curves. Also add lace in this part as well. Then place this paper cutting over here like this and mark the exact shape. Now place this part over this mark line and secure it with the pins. Now 
then we will sew it. Also add this golden lace over here. Our beautiful bridal blouse back neck pattern is ready. Also add dory and hangings to give it a heavy look. Hope you like this video so please like share and subscribe to my channel and also if you have any query please mention in the comment below. Thank you.